so now let us quickly go through step two in step two we will keep let's say this five amperes source active so five amperes active and uh, replace the other sources so let's first quickly replace the 10 volts battery any voltage source must be replaced with short circuit so we will replace this battery with short circuit and any current source uh, like we did in the previous step must be open circuited so we simply remove the current source completely so that's my equivalent circuit and the question is now to find out i2 because that's because of this 5 ampere current source once again 6 3 4 they are in series uh, and then parallel with 10 ohms so this is similar to the previous question so let us draw the equivalent circuit that we get here so in the equivalent circuit i will keep the original current source and resistance of 3 ohm on oh, this is 5 ohm resistance and this will be 6 ohm this is 2 ohm resistance and all the resistors on the right hand side will be replaced by a single resistance 6 3 4 in series parallel with 10 ohm we had already calculated this resistance to be equal to 5.652 so this is 5.652 ohm that we had already got this is 6 ohm this is 2 ohm so this are these two resistors this is my resistance of interest 5 ohm this is 3 ohm resistance and the current source that we have considered is of 5 amperes the current through 5 ohms will be called uh, i2 you can see one more reduction will give us the final answer so i keep the current source as it is there's a series resistance with current source of 3 ohm this is 5 ohm resistance and now i can replace all these three resistors 6 plus 2 is 8 8 plus 5 will be 13 and 0 0.652 that's the remaining part and this is my current i2 you can see that 5 amperes is the source current to this two parallel branches the current source and 3 ohm resistance in series with current source will become redundant in terms of calculating the currents i2 and current through this particular branch but right now we are only interested in i2 so let's define i2 using current division rule the opposite resistance that's 13.652 divided by 13.652 plus the resistance in the branch is 5 ohm and the total source current will also be 5 amperes so this gives me the value of current i for the second source which is of 5 amperes so it comes out to be 3.66 amperes so that's step two and now let's quickly go through step number three where we keep the third source active which is the current source again this time of two amperes and replace the other sources